Hey, this is Keegan. This is Pat. SCI Outdoors. Um, this video is for, uh, we're about right in between both of our uh, one year anniversaries of, uh, of our injuries and um, also right in the middle of our hunting seasons. So we figured it'd be a good time to uh, make a video. Well, yeah, I, had, I had no idea, you know, what my hunting season was going to be like if I'd even be outdoors and this turned out to be the best hunting season I've ever had. Um, uh, disabled season, I was able to shoot a doe, and then uh, for bow hunting, I killed the biggest buck that uh, I've, I've ever killed with the bow. Uh, it's been a been a crazy year, man, but you know it's been enjoyable, and uh, didn't get the filming that I wanted to get for it, but we'll do a lot better next year. Yeah, this year's just been kind of a trial and error with that. Yeah. There's a lot of footage between both of our hunting seasons that should have been there and wasn't. Yeah, you know, well, things happen. We'll have some better video equipment and, and uh, maybe some people to help film for us a little bit better next year. So. Yep, I got a GoPro later in the season. That would have been really nice to have during our deer seasons yeah. because we could have just worn that thing and it runs forever. Thanks for uh, Jordan Howdashell. Uh, a buddy of buddy of both of ours now I graduated with him uh, he's been in a wheelchair his whole life and uh, he uh, he sold me the GoPro because uh, he doesn't use it much anymore and figured uh, me and Pat definitely get use out of it uh, I've been using it in the past couple hunts but uh, next year maybe we'll have another GoPro and uh, we'll both be getting a lot better footage there you go. without having to worry about turning on the camera I didn't have the camera with me when I shot my buck because I had to use the tripod for the camera in, in order to shoot because I forgot my mount. Next year, we'll have somebody to film for us. It'll, it'll be a lot better. So. Yeah, I like that video that Josh did for us. So that yeah. that hunt, that was great. That was it'd be, awesome. It'd be nice to have Josh with us all the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking his time ain't free, bud. No, <laughs> no, uh, no. He's, he's a busy guy. So. Yep, he's a busy guy. Uh this year was a great year for all bow hunters in Iowa. There, there was a lot of big deer dropped early in the season before full rut hit. It's just been a good year overall. We got shotgun season coming up here soon too, so yeah. we'll have some good video of that. Shotgun season gets a little crazy in Iowa. It's not about sport. It's mainly about filling your tag and putting some meat in the freezer, but it's always a good time. You yep. know, you got a lot of camaraderie with, with your brothers out hunting in the field, so... Yep. Yeah, that's in two weeks. Yeah, we got Thanksgiving coming up. It'll be a good time. And then right after that, we got shotgun season. So maybe we'll get some video of us uh, sighting in our shotguns next weekend. Yeah, yeah. It's always good to shoot some guns. I have an awesome uncle that's a maintenance guy and uh, fabricates stuff. And he, I showed him a mount that I've uh, seen when I was in therapy at... Uh, QLI and he built one just like it so I have a mount that goes underneath my cushion so I can set my shotgun and my crossbow on it and uh, without that I probably wouldn't be able to shoot because I have to pull the trigger with my left thumb I can't hold a shotgun up straight you know so he's built a couple things for me he's even putting in a lift in my van right now so I can get in and out of it for shotgun season and the thing would be a nice hunting hunting vehicle heck yeah yeah think about making it into like a, a portable blind, blind up, yeah. Yeah. on wheels that would be some, pretty slick yeah put some some uh, shooting windows in it and be pretty cool yeah uh my season i tend to hunt I, I i seem to take my hunting seasons incredibly it's broad for me i hunt everything from september 1st to january well, I guess I got seasons that go all the way to March. So, really? Oh, yeah. Dog seasons? No, rabbit. And um, I'm going to try to get into some snow geese this year, possibly in the spring. I'd like to go rabbit hunting with you. I don't know if I could. Uh, oh, yeah. You use your uncle's 22. You'll be able to get. We'll just do a rabbit drive. They'll come out right in front, stop in front of you. And yeah, if they stop, I can shoot them. them. Yeah. I love shooting rabbits. But, rabbits good eating, too. So. Mm hmm. And then I, I make bunny burgers. They're delicious. Oh, I love Heck rabbit. Yeah. Rabbit's awesome. Um, so yeah, my my season, 
with it coming up on a year of my injury and my first my first hunting season from a wheelchair I really can't complain it wasn't my best hunting season of my life being a duck hunter but uh, it was a huge learning curve and there was a lot to it that uh, I didn't ever think when I was in the hospital I'd be able to do oh, we're living life to the fullest we're not letting our injuries slow us down I mean we're still finding ways to get out and do what we want to do yep and I mean that's what it's all about you know Yep, I, I never thought I'd be hunting out of a boat, but and that's something I, I, maybe I'll work that in still this year and do just a short video of how I do a boat transfer yeah. for duck hunting. I mean, starting September 1st, we had our disabled season, and uh, disabled season went good, but it was, you know, that was pretty simple. I got this track chair. That kind of grew me thinking that my hunting season was going to be a walk in the park being in a wheelchair and it really wasn't it comes down to uh you got to have somebody with you to unload the track chair at well at the point at the beginning of my seasons i wasn't able to put my wheelchair in my van like i can now and go to the back and unload my own chair but uh i did a dove hunt and that was before that was before our deer season started so i didn't get the dove hunt on film but there was some, I had a great dove hunt. The dove opener was a pretty good time. Um, and then after that, I started focusing on my duck hunting. And um, my first duck hunt, we, uh, we took my, I took my track chair and we went down a long dike and then down through marsh and everything. And we put this thing through hell. And uh, after that, the following weekend, we had another opener. And that was, uh, that was going to be a boat hunt. And that's how it turns out. You know, I thought my track chair was going to be the future of my duck hunting. I thought I was just going to be a walk-in hunter only. But it turns out, you know, with the guys I hunt with, I, they're all just great people. And um, they were there to help me, very patient. And uh, we got it down to a science now where it's really not even that much of a chore. We just, uh, I hunt out of my manual wheelchair. I uh, jump over the side of the boat, sit up on the bench or throw myself down on the ground and then uh, we put the chair in after me and then once we're in our spot and ready I transfer back up into my wheelchair and uh, I just kick my feet up and kind of lean back so that way since I don't have core so that way I can still swing a gun and uh, shoot birds and we did that on numerous hunts uh, one hunt something I really didn't think I'd be doing this year <laughs> given my medical circumstances is um, hunting like I used to I mean staying up all night going out at midnight sleeping in the boat waking up shooting birds first daylight Those duck hunters are crazy yeah I mean it's it's not as hard as I used to be I mean I used to be able to go out and party and have a good time and really not sleep at all for an entire weekend yeah. and we'd just melee the birds and we'd do walk-in hunts you know with even without a boat but this season really was, it was a pretty good win. Next season, I'll be able to go into it with a lot more confidence and ability. Yeah, we're going to have a good season next year. Think about it, turkey hunting's coming up soon. Man, I love to turkey hunt. Yeah. And then and after that, we'll have uh, fishing. Yeah. We need to go out and run some jitty poles on the on the boats. Yep. Oh, yeah, so. we're going to be running. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in a boat a lot. I'm still, and yeah. originally, um, so a lot of people don't know this, but... And it doesn't really matter, but before my injury, the, that spring, so this previous spring, I planned on buying a boat. I was going to, I've owned a lot of John boats, a lot of just old John boats, and I wanted yeah, to buy too. something, I wanted to buy something nice, big, safe for the family, with a big surface drive mud motor on it, and uh, due to my injury and everything that was going on, I did not buy that, because I didn't know if I'd be able to, but after what I've accomplished during this duck season i am 100 percent. i don't know about the near future like i thought but i'll be buying a boat still to run the river with steering column surface drive everything and uh there ain't, there ain't i'll nothing, be back on the river there ain't nothing like being out in the cedar river doing some catfishing yeah yep and uh but before we get to that fishing season we gotta we definitely have a lot more hunting to do yeah yeah we'll we'll be getting into the coyotes here shortly we've got them pretty well baited and uh pretty comfortable around home right now so yeah. me and pat will get out and uh and put some dogs on the ground here shortly uh, i got some pheasant hunting to do and uh, we got snow coming my goose season my waterfowl season is not over 
Goose season is a, is a whole nother animal and it's a lot easier because it's in a field, but we use my Ranger and we drive out with a trailer full of decoys, load my tractor on the back now, and then I can just go right out in the spread. It's just, I don't, I don't know how these late season geese are going to work seeing a big mound in the, in the early season, the local birds are, they don't care. They're all young. You're just blowing eggshells off them at that point. But these, these geese coming from up north, they've, uh, they've been shot through a whole state and a half by the time they get here. So they're a little smarter. We'll see how well I can see how well we can decoy the birds in with my chair in the middle of a cornfield blinded up of course, but still they got somewhat adept perception. Uh, my boat transfers are probably my biggest accomplishment. I would say of my, of my, uh, and shooting my first duck as a paraplegic was definitely my biggest accomplishments of um, my, my first hunting season from a wheelchair. Uh, shooting the deer. Shooting my biggest deer was definitely, a, that was definitely a, a big accomplishment for me. And, uh, and he wasn't even that big, but I normally shoot, you know, the first deer I see. So getting to actually see a deer come in and relax and take a shot, I understand what the bow hunters kind of feel well, now because well, i never was about that i was just let the lead go when you see deer when you had on we had them on camera and everything too so that was kind of cool well well yeah we had them on the trail camera yeah and i actually did have them believe it or not on camera when i shot them but it was so dark because of the yeah. it was so close to shooting time and it was cloudy out that there was all you seen was muzzle flash i could have included it i guess but oh well it wasn't really worth it. We will, uh, we'll keep you, we'll keep you updated as the hunting seasons go on. We just wanted to make a short, quick little video here of um, that. It's our, it's right in between right now of our one year of uh, me and Pat being uh, disabled outdoorsmen, you know, SCI outdoorsmen, and that our channel continues to grow and uh, people reach out to us and we meet a lot of people along the way and. I hope we can inspire some other other people in absolutely to get out and do some hunting and enjoy the outdoors you know absolutely and uh, I mean I plan on doing some traveling in the future hunting out of state still okay. so uh we'll definitely I'll definitely run into some other people that'll hopefully uh, wind up on the channel or uh, just anybody to be a part of this uh, and like Pat said, we ho hope that we can inspire people along the way. Maybe down in Mississippi, shoot some hogs, maybe kill an alligator or so. Yeah, too. yeah. And Pat, we still got to put his video up of uh, his vacation. Yeah. But uh, he's got gators down there. They got hogs. So hopefully Pat can go down, see family in Mississippi, and uh, shoot some animals down there. And uh, Yeah, the, the rut falls in, in, in December down there. Right, it's a completely yeah. different world, man. It's oh. just like my dad living in Arizona. It's like 90 there right now, and yeah. people are hunting ducks in t-shirts. Yeah. Incredible, because I'm after a blue wing teal, a, a full plumage blue wing teal. Here in Iowa, we get full plumage blue wing teal in the spring. That's about it when you can't shoot them. So, and that's something that's really cool. We shoot a lot of blue wings in the early season, but never do you see with the white band on the face a full plumage drake blue wing and i want one on the wall so bad so i'll have to get down to arizona to do that anyways uh to the subscribers we have thank you guys for uh for for following us on this channel and um we'll have a lot more material for you and next year we're gonna do a lot better job and for the rest of this season we'll do a lot better job uh recording our hunts and get you a lot better content. There you go. All right. Thanks for watching SCI Outdoors.